I like the rainbow, but not on my Raspberry Pi. The rainbow will appear if the Raspberry Pi gets insufficient power from the power adapter and or the cable. So I tested three different power adapters and some different cables. On the left you can see the diamond adapter, in the middle the adapter for my iPod Nano and on the right the adapter for my Galaxy tablet. These are the tested cables. The white one is from Qbot, it's a smartphone brand. The left black cable is from Nilkin, I bought it online. And the right black cable is from my Nexus 5. And on the bottom a windable cable from a bargain shop here in Holland. I'm using a charger doctor to measure the current and the voltage from the power adapter. The input voltage of the Raspberry Pi it's measured by holding your multimeter on the pins PP1 and PP3. And also don't forget to turn your multimeter in the correct position. And now let's start with the Samsung adapter and the Nilkin cable. I am currently using the Open Elec Kodi image. And it will take a few seconds to boot up. I am starting a movie now, so you can see the current and the voltage under playing the movie. And the voltage will not drop under the 5 volts, so that's a good sign. And now we are measuring the voltage on the Raspberry Pi itself. It's a little bit under the 5 volt, but that doesn't matter for now. It's more important that the voltage is steady and don't have big drops. And now the same Galaxy adapter with a bad USB cable. And this combination will give the rainbow icon on the top of the screen. And now the voltage test on the Raspberry Pi itself. Only a good adapter or a good cable is not enough. You need both to get a good working Raspberry Pi. Here are the results. The only working combination with the Galaxy Tab Charger was the Nilkin cable. And with the Apple Charger, the Nilkin cable won again. And the diamond adapter sucks. I saw rainbows everywhere. Don't buy this one. If you have any questions about the power supplies of the Raspberry Pi or rainbows, you can ask me down below.